Are we good? <laughs> well, Danny, I guess first of all, just uh, off week came at a good time and just refocus this week. What was the big goal this week? Coming off the bye week, preparing for UCF. Yeah, I mean, the goal is to go one and every single week. You know, it's been the narrative, you know, week in, week out. You know, we haven't really accomplished anything, you know, coming off a big one like that. You know, it's easy to kind of get, you know, held up on that. But we put the game away, you know, studied the film, which is kind of tough to do. It's easy to look uh, overlook a game like that. You know, we did a really uh, in-depth analysis, could fix all those mistakes we had against Texas, and now we're ready for UCF. Playing your hometown university, a lot of friends and family coming down for this one? Yeah, I had to get a lot of tickets. It's kind of a competition between me and Dylan, who, whoever can get the most tickets. Who's winning? Probably Dylan. I mean, I, only, I had like... 13 or something, who knows how many people he's bringing. Obviously, uh, so the Texas pregame speech has been everywhere. What's it been like to see fans get so fired up about that? I didn't even know it was recorded. You know, obviously, it was in the heat of the moment. And I guess it's cool, cool moment, I guess, a quote in history or whatever, whatever that means. But, you know, it's a good message for my guys. You know, that's really all it's for. You know, I love those dudes. You know, I just want to inspire them, you know, so we can go out there and dominate. How are the t shirt sales going? Oh, I don't even know. I don't, I don't really look into that. You know, maybe I'll figure out in a few weeks or something. Danny, does that speak, though, to like, there's all these discussions about NIL and you know, changing the game? Does the T-shirts kind of speak to that? And I guess what are your thoughts on NIL? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I know a lot of players have, like, T-shirts, and you know, I wasn't really one to, like, get on that wave. I kind of, like, low-key, but, you know, I feel like there was a good opportunity there. And I, I guess with NIL, yeah, I mean, it's awesome for a player to capitalize on an opportunity like that, you know, for, absolutely, for sure. How did something like that come together? Everyone saying we want a shirt. <laughs> oh yeah, so it's like, just like, well, I guess there's, there's a big, there's a big demand, so I guess we we'll have to figure out a supply. But is that one thing that maybe some of you guys talking about? All it takes is one viral moment, and then I can cash in on this a little bit. I think that's just how you know media is today. I mean, it just takes one, I guess, two sentences and a, a big victory, and that's all it takes. Hey, Dan, UCF has a Gus Malzahn in particular has a, a tendency to pull some tricks out of their bag at various points. How do you? preparing for an offense like that, uh, sort of stay on your toes and, and be ready for something like that? Yeah, absolutely. We have a very creative you know, staff that can design all sorts of trick plays and keep us on our heels at all times. You never know when we're going to see them in practice, so we've got to make sure we're ready to adjust. Had you watched some of those moments that we've seen from Gus Malzahn over the years? Oh, for sure. You know, we've got a whole whole file of just trick plays. I guess we'll sit, we'll sit down with some of the guys and go through them. You know, obviously, if I don't want to run a trick play too many times in a row, I guess you kind of catch on to it. It kind of defeats the purpose. but. You know, kind of the idea of what formations and what you know, kind of what down and distance are they get into those you know, situations. Who brought the cigars? I don't know. I was I was on the <laughs> field for a long time. I walked. Down, I was like, man, I was like, what's that smell? And then obviously, all right, well, I guess we got you know, Stogie's going. So, Danny, I know you talk to us every week. Was there any particular thrill going on McAfee and just getting on that? Yeah, stage it was pretty cool. Probably. I remember like growing up, like watching Pat McAfee like eat cereal in the morning. So I mean, like I'm like on YouTube. So it was a pretty cool experience, you know, obviously a great group, group of guys, you know, kind of, you know, cool thing to soak in at the moment, a great opportunity and a great guy. Once you guys have faced quarterbacks, we can move around this year, another one this weekend with Plumlee. What kind of challenges uh, he present this weekend? Absolutely. Extremely mobile dude. You know, he can make a lot of plays on with his legs. You know, obviously we got to know how to contain the quarterback. I think that's something looking back, you know, it's been a challenge for us, but we've, we've done so far this year, you know, the D-line, you know, being ready to kind of cage, like, cage a quarterback like that. I just been your off weekend, first weekend, first Saturday off in a while. What did you do? Yeah, I actually was up here at 8:30 getting treatment. So I got Chick Fil A, I got some treatment on you know on my toe. Looking at their run defense, I mean, how are you all preparing for that, especially the combat? Yeah, I mean they're kind of one of the, the top, I think, rushing team. You know, so that's that's big. You know, that's exciting for you know, especially for linebackers. You know, I love to stop the run. It's gonna be a big challenge for us. They have a great you know great running backs and very explosive players. And you know, we just got to make sure we're keyed in on all the keys. They do a lot of eye candy, so we really got to know what we're looking at so we don't you know, adjust, bump too far, and we're ready to fit our gaps. Speaking of that run defense, you guys are, are so vastly improved in that area from a year ago. What, what do you attribute that to? Film study, you know, experience, you know, coaches just you – know, I think we had a long ways to go when Coach Noble first got here. I mean, it's a complicated system. You know, finally everyone really get dialed in on it, understand the intricate pieces that are required, you know, to be perfect against a run. You know, all it takes is one person to misfit, something to create a, a, a gap, and, you know, that's where they, you get exposed. On the bye week you guys talked about, not that the run bits have bad, just want to be more consistent. There, there's more room to grow there. Is it exciting to have like an offense like this that can immediately test that coming out of the bye week? Absolutely. I mean, I, I mean, being a competitor, you want to face the best. So, you know, you see a high-powered offense, you get excited. You know, I think it's a great opportunity to show what we can do, you know, week in and week out. Is it 
have ever been discussed of maybe going out and buying uh, a player's NIL shirt that you're getting ready to play and wear it under your uniform during the game? Oh, uh, that's that thing. has got that going around now. You know? Really? Oh, with the, the Dallas yeah, thing? Uh-huh. No, I mean, I've never done that. The only NIL shirts I do buy are General Booties. Uh-huh. I, get, you I, do, tr- don't you? I try and get every new merch release <laughs> drop. You know, big supporter of that guy. 